Climb up the vent, you shit, not the wall. Oh my god. Hello? I hate that. Sometimes the building jump, but jumping between the buildings mechanic is not super well made. It's like you're, you're supposed to jump through this and it's like, oh, you can't actually land on this platform or it doesn't give you enough like jump to do the, the distance that you need to cover or something. to know that the depth of the tar hasn't changed. Aw, oh, dude, skyscrapers and stuff just chilling. That's awesome. This is so cool, by the way. This is so cool. Uh-oh. You know what's really interesting? So, like, uh, uh, there's a lot of, like, um, like, Japanese vessels that are, like, out there, like, uh, shark hunting and stuff, which is against the law, like, against international water rules, laws, and whatever like that. Maybe, maybe one of the big reasons why the beaches are, <coughs> are heavily, in, um, like, populated by fish and whales and stuff, like whalers, you know, right? Whalers is what I meant. Maybe that's like that. Maybe it's addressing that whole issue, like the Japanese whalers that are so out of control right now. And it's trying to kind of. I guess I'm just supposed to jump in there then. Oh, hi, Dio. I notice you. But yeah, maybe, maybe, because, like, this game was obviously made in Japan, like most games, and Japanese whalers are, like, a big deal right now, and they, they, like, they're just, they're, they're everywhere, and, and maybe that's, like, one of the, one of the agendas that he's pushing is that it's out of control and tons of sea life is dying because of it. And so that's why the major representation of the whole other side is heavily represented by whales and fish being dead everywhere, you know? It's a good, good possibility. and bread. 
Just falling down, falling down, falling down, falling down, just falling down. Yeah, overfishing is a big deal right now, too. Who knows? Maybe the London Bridge is fine. If I wasn't so engrossed with the story, I would totally do the Skyrim meme overlay thing right now. First time we've seen his face. Contents are fragile. Like the world and everything in it. <laughs> Me, I'm, I'm no exception. Okay. I'm not the only one wearing masks either. There's your boss man. And that woman. And oh, let's not forget little old you. Okay, it's okay. I know it ain't easy wearing a mask all the time. But now the mask can come off, right? Hey, hey, hey. You remember this? Hmm? Nope, nope, nope. Mmm, poor sweet Amelie. She's holed up in the beach nearby. Tell you what, what say we make it a race? Hmm? Whoever wins gets to usher in the end of days. Nothing like the eve of extinction bring focus to the mind. Makes folks honest. There'll be no need for masks soon. But I wonder... When you look death in her eye... Will you blink? I like him. <laughs> oh, Still with me, Sam? God dang. Even now, our way forward, our way to save Emily is the same as always. Your first priority is to get the local distro center on the network. Until it's complete and everybody's connected, Higgs won't find it easy to get to Emily. She should be safe. So take your time and do it right. Let's see where I'm at. 
That's it, just that. Just central tar city. And... Hey Sam, you taste like raspberries. Yeah, he's a, he's an extremely good antagonist. Of course. Frickin' uh... What's the hold up, Sam? Connect your cupid to the terminal and bring the site online. Shut up, I just got here, dude! Troy Baker is, is... Troy Baker is an exceptionally good voice actor, but he doesn't always get the best direction he needs to, you know, do his thing. So, I mean, Kojima and, and Troy Baker make a great villain because they can be, you know, with a, with high, with good direct, good direction. He can do good stuff. Yeah, Die Hardman is definitely the hope of this game. He can just shut up for all I care. Oh, we are like smack dab. This this is it's either Vegas or Reno. I think it's actually Vegas. Well, guys, it's really close. I, I want to say it's either one or one or the other. Cause that California could go pretty far down. Nah, it's definitely one of the big one of the only two cities in this damn state. I want to say it actually is Reno because it looks like right about the point where Nevada would come up because we still do have the mountains and if you go any further up, there ain't no mountains. So I think it is Reno. We made it through the apocalypse, guys. Good work, Sam. You've made it as far as Bridges One ever did. We never pushed further west. Frankly, it's a miracle we kept that distro center running. Anyway, you're almost at Edge Nut City. Your final destination, where Amelie should be waiting. Smile, Sam. Only one more knot to go. One last time to put that Cupid to use. Though you'll need another component to finish the job. Regardless, the nationwide network will serve as your ticket home. Just bear in mind that by bringing Edge Nut online, you'll likely be revealing Amelie's location to Higgs. You'll need to get to her before he does. Head to your private room and get your gear sorted. When you're ready to go, we'll give you what you need. Okay. Make sure not to leave the distro center without taking the order. Find Amelie first, then connect. Easy peasy. Yeah, he's Valvatars in Disgaea 4. I love Valvatars, he's great. Sardines! I think we, we I think we were saying it yet the other day, it was like 230 Sam, games officially. Are you there? That's just games. Can you hear me? Sam. Over here, Amelie. The network's nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. See, this whole time I've, I've felt like this is all just... I'm being tricked into doing something that's name? that's bad. I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. Amelie. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was 121. Oh, okay. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. I thought it was 230. So don't worry. I don't know why I got that number. Get the last Cupid to Edge Knot City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the distro center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. 
worn a mask for the longest time. Everything he said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. for you on the beach. Amelie? Amelie? Wanna go take a shower? Oh, he winked at me. <laughs> he means yes. something meta here we're gonna use the bathroom with sam while i go use the bathroom irl brb Yeah, we can all go together. Let's just have a big pee party. Somehow I feel like a rectangular toilet would be really uncomfortable to sit on. No grenades. I didn't eat very many bugs, I guess. Didn't even crumple the can. Who doesn't crumple the can after you're done with it? Jeez. You're a monster, too, Zernel. So I crumple plastic water bottles too, yeah, and then you put the lid back on Still so it stays crumpled. Check the terminal and pick up that order before you leave. So if you drink a you water bottle. The job if you don't. 
You crumple it and then seal it back with the lid so it stays crumpled. Save space in your bins or garbage cans or whatever you put it in. And signifies that it's empty so anybody else that comes across it knows. You don't because you can't get five cents back if the machine doesn't read the barcode? Really? See, the, the recycling centers here weigh it, and, and a can has a weight, <clears throat> and so you just plop a bag full of, you know, cans on the thing, it weighs it, boom, bada bing, you get your stuff. This is it, Sam. Edge Nut City, the last piece of the puzzle. You'll need more than just a Cupid to link this one up, though. You'll also be required to supply a network activation key. Anticipating terrorist interference, we held on to it for safekeeping. It's been sitting in that distro center gathering dust. Until now. Collect it at the terminal and take it to Edge Not City. Luckily for us, the automated systems at the distro center there still seem to be operational. So once the key is entered, it should automatically interface with the backbone network. A word of caution, Sam. The activation key has a unique identifier. If anything happens to it, you can't just print a new one. It's one of a kind, irreplaceable. And for the love of all that's holy, don't lose it. And don't go breaking it either. You hear me, Sam? Well, that's what's gonna happen. If there was a delivery not to fuck up, it's this one. We're all counting on that's exactly what's going to happen now. Remote detonation grenade launcher. Launches explosive projectiles, as you may have guessed. Can be used in conjunction with a variety of rounds depending on your needs. And yes, said rounds are indeed detonated remotely and at your discretion after firing. Okay. Is that the only weapon I can build? No. Uh, might as well get a new pair of boots. I don't know if I'm going to need a power skeleton, but I might have a lot of stuff. Get a pair of gloves. Get an oxygen mask, who knows. Uh, at least one of those. Let's get one ladder just in case. Um, I don't have any blood bags, so I just I guess I can just build them, I, I guess. Uh, container repair one. Bullet gun. Non-lethal three. A medic four. Oh. Okay. Network activation key that looks like a BB. What do you mean network activation key? Dude, that is a BB, man. What the hell? Oh, it's only a level one grenade. Whoops. Order of time. I don't I don't like this. I don't like that a BB is the quote network activation key. Something's up. Uh, offload. Is it just... <clears throat> well, I can carry this. Um...
Just in case I need another pair of boots, I doubt it, but they don't they're not really in the way, so it doesn't really matter. And then it's just a bunch of hematic grade grenades level one. Alright, we'll we'll just bank these. Can't build vehicles over here, feels bad. It'd be pretty hard to eat a burger if I was dead, so yeah, I can confirm that I ate a bacon cheeseburger while being alive. It's true. Well, those trucks aren't really usable anymore. You know what I hate the most about this online is all these stupid signs everywhere. They're just annoying. They're they're just it makes it feel so cheap and garbage, like everybody's trash just laying around, you know? <clears throat> that's what it that's what it feels like. It feels like everybody's trash has just been left. It's like AOL, like the old, you know, remember like in the early ages, clickbait spam kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like in the early ages of the internet with AOL, like all the like emo packages, emoji packages that you could get were like just a bunch of really garbage, shitty tier looking emotes all over the place. <clears throat> like 500,000 smileys, you know, kind of stuff. But yeah, just like that clickbait garbage. That's exactly it. Clickbait spam. Just everybody's clickbait spam everywhere. Give me likes for my sign. Look, I warned you of BTs. Oh, that's a few BTs. New kinds of BTs. To, like spawn them no they just go away so they're just like little mines they're little mines don't get too close BT proximity mines oh shit I should probably equip a gun then I just pop them That'll do for now. <laughs> Shooting gallery. Oh my god, a tar waterfall. Dude, they did a really good job with that. It really makes it look like it's goopy waterfall, dude. That's cool. It's good to know that they didn't go all lazy at the end of the game with visuals, you know? It still looks awesome. Like, this this looks like a lot of unique assets that weren't in the rest of the game. 
<clears throat> so props to them for actually continuing to make good, interesting visuals.